So let's quickly go over how to install and use this pack. There's a couple of customizations here, which I also wanted to shine a little light on. First thing, if you do download anything off of the website, you can use it forever. Even if you decide to no longer be a pro member, you can still use that stuff. Uh, but once you do download it, you'll just have this DRFX file. You just double click on it. DaVinci Resolve will ask you if you want to install it. All you have to say is install. Once that happens, uh, on the cut or edit pages, you just come up here to the effects. Once it's installed, go into JR with under titles, and then we have film. So this is the first pack of this film category. There's lots more to come, so stay tuned for that. But let's add on a title. Let's add in this one. All of the fonts that are used within this pack are listed in the download file when you download it. So quickly looking at this, it's laid out just like any other title would be very simply, um, you know, different parameters to change. But I did want to show you one customization that's down here in the inspector. If we open this up and let's say we don't want to use Ari and maybe uh, we want to put Apple here or something. Going through the list, you'll see uh, had it at South by Southwest or you know the Toronto Film Festival or whatever film festival. Uh, we have some there. If there's more that you want to see, let me know and I could see about getting those added in. But uh, nonetheless, there is the ability to add in your own custom. So we just come up here to none slash custom, right below custom logo. Just hit browse and then browse to wherever you have a logo at. We add that in and now we have an Apple logo. So as easy as that, we can change the size of it, change its position. Uh, for the color of these, it's just right below. We can change the color of these and we see these other elements also changed here. One thing that you'll notice is there is no options for these couple of little uh, extra items and that's the one thing that it, that's kind of stand out for this title compared to a lot of other titles is that you can fully customize it very easily. So if we come up here to the top and click these little icon here, uh, the title itself is just a group. So you open that up and then you have access to all of the elements that make this title. So you just use the title template as just a template to get you started. And then from there you can add more elements in or take elements out or customize them as needed. Uh, it really opens up the doors to really make it your own and make it unique to you. So that's pretty much the film titles. Like I said, this is the first of this category. So over the next couple of weeks, months, there will be a lot more added within this category. Stay tuned to the website as well as the YouTube channel for that. But until then, talk to you guys later. Cheers.